mystery of stuff. Her chair, flicked her hair, and walked with determination. She was a woman on a mission. She slammed the receipt down in front of the cashier and asked him for an explanation. This was an open act of disrespect. She immediately asked for the manager, but oh, how she would regret it. Suzanne Parkinson is a busy mother of two, a dedicated parent who loves nothing more than to provide her children with all the love and attention they need. But as a military wife, it hasn't been a smooth ride. And this restaurant experience was just another one of those moments that made her nostrils flare and her blood boil. Suzanne had spent most of her married life unemployed and in a constant state of worry, so when she encountered ignorance, it was hard for her to keep quiet. Since she married her military sweetheart, she has learned to live life with agility. In the military, things can change in an instant, which can sometimes make her feel overlooked. Thus, she began to fight for what she thinks she deserves. It was that time of year again, the one where she's left alone to look after her kids and take care of the house, missing and worrying about her husband who's deployed overseas yet again. It never gets easier. Each goodbye is as bitter as the last. She hates it. It's no surprise that her emotions were already running high even before she looked into his unfeeling eyes. Suzanne and her kids were joined by her father-in-law as they went to Cece's Pizza in Norfolk to celebrate her son's 10th birthday. Nothing like a lighthearted gathering to lift her mood. It was no harm also that her meal would be cheaper than most, a military spouse perk she always looked forward to. But things weren't about to go as planned. At first, everything was fine. They sat down and ordered their meals. Once they finished, Suzanne asked for cake to be brought out and they all sang happy birthday to her son. Suzanne started a video call to her husband overseas so that he could take part in things too. It was an action that was all too familiar and a pang of sadness pierced her chest. Then she saw it. As the bill arrived, Suzanne's mood went from sad to angry. Did they seriously not include a discount? She said. She looked to her father-in-law who told her to calm down. It was only a $28 bill after all but she had already told them about her status at the till when they ordered. To Suzanne, it was an act of disrespect, so she decided to do something about it. Although it's common for establishments to offer discounts to military spouses, it's by no means mandatory. Amusement parks, movie theaters, Home Depot, Disney, cruises and clothing stores are just some examples of such establishments. But this wasn't enough for Suzanne. She wanted widespread acknowledgement. Safe to say, she was an advocate for military spouse discounts, and she couldn't wait to confront this non-complying restaurant. Despite her father-in-law's warnings to leave it alone, she got up off her chair, flicked her hair, and walked like a woman on a mission to the counter. She slammed the receipt down in front of the cashier and asked about her military spouse discount. He gave her an unsatisfactory answer, so she immediately asked for the person in charge but she would soon regret it. While she waited, she reminded herself of all the hard times she'd been through as a military wife. She reminded herself that she deserved this discount. She may not be serving, but she felt like she sacrificed a lot to support him and his career. So she was supporting her country. She was playing her part like any military personnel. Well, that's not how the manager saw it. Maintaining her sense of righteousness, she repeated the same question to the manager, but what he would say back to her would put her in her place back to a place of total shock that anyone would dare talk to her like that. A scene unfolded as they began to attract the attention of everyone around them. She wasn't going down without a fight. The manager replied, man is issued a sea bag, not a spouse. Deeply offended, she then threatened him with calling corporate. He asked her to go ahead, stating that he was the district manager, so nothing would change. He then offered that they could sit down and talk if she wanted to, but Suzanne could hear the dismissive tone in his voice. Disgusted, she looked for backup. She looked around the room, expecting to hear somebody come to her defense. But nobody spoke up. She was met with silence and people avoiding her eye contact as she scanned the room. She decided to look elsewhere, so she posted what just happened into her military wives Facebook group. But what were their opinions? Was she acting entitled? One Facebook user thought so. It's much appreciated when corporations extend their military discount to spouses, but it shouldn't be expected. Stop being so entitled while another disagreed. I believe they should get the discount. Unless you have served or know how it feels to worry about someone 24 seven for days, weeks, months, even years. Please don't speak down on a spouse or the children of people who are deployed. 
Soon after it was written, the post was leaked into a Reddit forum dedicated to dependas, which is a term used to describe military spouses with an overwhelming sense of self-importance that, sometimes, even overshadows their deployed spouse's achievements while serving their country. Unfortunately, there are many military spouses who do little to dispel the stereotype. Many people have reacted to the story, sharing their indignation at what they perceived as audacity and a sense of entitlement. Feed five people endless pizza for $28 and this chick still complains, one user wrote. With such opposing views, many others also decided to share their own stories of military spouses and children, adding fuel to the fire. It's laughable how some of the military spouses view their spouse's accomplishments as their own and try to pull rank over other people, another comment read. Even other military spouses had stories to share. One such spouse posted, I'm a military spouse. Some of the entitlement is unreal. I have legitimately met wives who say things like our rank, thank us for our service. The woman then continued to talk about a wife who insisted that she address her by her rank. She wasn't military. The woman is clearly not impressed by such behavior, saying, my husband serves, not me or our kids. I hate when people automatically go, well, my husband serves our country, so give me a break. Another eagle-eyed user was quick to notice something on the bill that made Suzanne's case even less compelling. I didn't see it pointed out, but she ordered three child buffets, two adult buffets, and two adult drinks. Now either she let the kids go without drinks, or more than likely let them drink from her cup, saving her the price of three kids' drinks. Suzanne ended up staying at the restaurant as it was a celebration for her son, but she continues to demand respect from establishments like this and the wider population as she fights to change the narrative on military wives. She explained, I don't care about the free drink. I care that this man feels that only the service member serves and openly gives such disrespect to military wives. What do you think? Did you enjoy today's story? Let us know what you think about it in the comments. If you believe this story was amazing, don't hesitate to share it with your buddies. Hit the subscribe button and activate the notification bell so you'll never miss your daily dose of incredible stories.